I guess I'm going to get started trying to get this timing cover off the front and uh, front motor mount off first and then get the timing cover off and get the rear motor mounts off. Okay, I thought I'd just bring you in here. Took a breaker bar on these and then uh, both of these got them loose. There's the, the center nut up under here, right there. Um, yeah, that's the bottom of the, the yoke and it's got a, a welded in bolt. Yeah, got that and then took these loose for now. Jet put a little weight on the jack, took the weight up. got the uh, front timing cover off and you see on the inside here there's a little spring and this little pushing on the camshaft and pretty gummy it doesn't stick up hardly at all I thought it was stuck in but I guess it's not Okay, let's see if we can get this to turn. I'm going to start with a chisel and a hammer. Oh, I think I'm lucky. Oh, there it is right there. Super small. I don't know how you would ever be able to detect that. Like on this new one. Right there, I've marked it with a marker, so it's real obvious. These holes, they look the same, but this one isn't quite directly across from that one. So the, the pins that you have to line it up on. Dot. Make sure. Dots match. Okay, back to my makeshift. I'm just tapping it lightly because this has to mesh into that main crank. Wiggle itself in there. Sounds like it's on. Nope. There she is. Solid thunks. Okay. You bring in. So you can see. Right there. Let's see if I can get it better. See the little right at the center. There we go. See the little round dot on the crankshaft gear and the big dot on the timing gear. So now I'm going to reinstall the lock nut. Okay. 
I'm not putting Loctite or anything on it. Some people put Loctite, some people mash the threads down to keep this from coming off. And I don't know these ever have come off on anybody. So I'm not gonna do that. Just take a little hammer here and snug see some people take the chisel and mash the threads right there and I don't want to do that so when cleaning this timing cover up it goes on like this but this is where the crankshaft is so this is half of your front seal, these little rope seals that you have to put on. Soak them in oil first. Okay, I got to wondering about this uh, little plunger and spring that pushes against the camshaft. So I went ahead and ordered a new one and I was looking at them and this is the old one, as you can see, and this is the new one. So look at the height difference. So I'm thinking this spring on the new one has got different and it's going to push further out than this old one does. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of Permatex on them to hold them in place while I'm getting them on there. So they like to move around a lot. And the other thing, the original bolts, if you look at them closely, the tops have a little crown to them. So that's how you can tell the original ones. Some of the ones I took off were just flat hardware store bolts. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put the covers back on and bolt it down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Permatex. The rope seal in, got the plunger with the spring in, and the gasket. So go back out there and check the other videos. Um, there's some on the playlist for 29 Tudor. There's also some lawnmower repairs and uh, maintenance and uh, go out there and check them out. Uh, click the subscribe button and you get notified when a, a new video is uploaded. And uh, click the like, thumbs up button.